Welcome, welcome, welcome to Kickstarter Radio 102.4. I'm your host, Lipstick Patty, and we're looking at Everdell cards. Oversight cards. Well, it says Everdell Duo, but I guess everyone's more excited for the Oversight cards. Let's go down, shall we? But wait! Wait, 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 wait. Everdell Duo is a new one to two player competitive and co op game with a 15 chapter campaign. Ooh. Do you know, I've been wanting a adventure game in the Everdell world with Andrew Bosley. Look at the two art decks here, the two um, boxes here, how you can put them together to create that big orange tree. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god. I, I tell you, the art it is incredible. Just just for um just for a bit of uh, FYI. I love Everdell. It's I have the complete collection. It's in the top of my shelf next to my favorite game, Fallen Land. It is a spectacular game, a true blue ribbon event on the table. And is a Kickstarter legendary board game that you can finally pick up again in on this Kickstarter. Now, it will be late pledge, so don't worry. I don't get paid till the end of the month. And I can't pledge at all here, but I will be pledging, don't you? And yesterday, oh my god, that incredible card battle game from yesterday. Have a check that video out if you haven't on the channel. And if you are new here... Do check our playlist with our incredible programs that I made for the board gaming community. Maybe some video you'll be interested in looking at. All right, then. Everdell Duo. Everdell Oversized Cards. Half price, apparently, here. <laughs> it will enhance your Everdell experience with these oversized cards featuring... Larger text, as well as extended art, allowing you to enjoy the original Everdell game in all its glory. Well, not just the Everdell game, but all of its expansions to date are covered. Incredible. That's why you need these cards. Look at this. Put the card decks together here to make a bigger tree. Not just an orange tree. You can stack them vertically or you can stack them sideways for the orange tree. I actually prefer the orange tree. <laughs> but you can have a tree if you want. All right. Standalone game, Everdell Duo. Now, so this is interesting, again, in the same world, but again, plays a little bit different. You've got that incredible art again across it, of course, has that Everdell charm to it. Component-wise, has the charm of the components. I would like to see a stretch goal for stickers, though, on the animals that you've got here, as the, you know, the Everdell, all the complete collection has stickers done by Andrew Bosley to cover all of the meeples. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you, you've potentially got this that you can add on your pledge. There's the campaign book. It, of course, it is going to be replayable. But obviously, when you're coming to this, looking at it, it's definitely like an interesting game that you could get out to the table before you introduce people to Everdell, perhaps. A gateway version, perhaps. <laughs> anyway, it looks fantastic. I do love the idea of the campaign. But then you, you've got the aspect of you want to have 15 games of this where it's evolving. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do. All right. That's a known thing, though. There's videos and there's hype and people want that. But this is the most exciting thing. I, I guess that people wanted, other than a big adventure board game, but we've got an adventure card game, it looks like, that they've done. But anyway, there you see. Look, you, you see the king's feet look so much better, doesn't it? As they said, bigger text to read as well. We are all getting older. 
On tarots, of course, big cards, oversized. Now, there is just the one box if you are just using the base game. You get the second box if you are got every expansion which is in the complete collection. You can see all the Pearlbrook cards, Spirecrest Weber cards, all of the cards getting updated. Incredible. Even the latest expansion, the New Leaf Visitor cards, looking sweet. And even better, card dividers with the deck, of course, full of art from Andrew Bosley. Or is it? Is it, you know, is Everdell Dewar done by Andrew Bosley? That, I think that's a burning question. Now, you might think Everdell's got a huge table put footprint, especially with all the expansions, hasn't it? Why would you need bigger cards? Bigger cards means you need, you've got a bigger play area, doesn't it? Take it. You are going to have a huge board with these big cards there. <laughs> so make sure if you're going for these oversized cards, you've got a big table. It's like... Playing talisman and telling people you've got tarot sized cards for the adventure deck. You'd be like, oh my god, how much, how big is the play area? They're not showing you the play area here, by the way. But you're going to need a side table if you've got a small table. That's for certain. <laughs> so go the tree, go the village, or go for the orange tree. You, you decide. Now, it looks like this is going to be stacked to the deck. And uh, does it include sleeves? Like, Could you sleeve it? Because it looks like it's not going to fit. So there's the Everdell Complete Collection. Now, it's 199 here before tax. All this is before tax, by the way. Notice the Everdell card sleeve set, which will be made redundant with this. And all those cards you're just going to be throwing out. All that art on those cards getting thrown out. <laughs> now, the Everdell All In does have, of course, Everdell Complete Collection. New Leaf, Pearlbrook, Spycraft, Mist, Wood. Lots of stuff here. Basically, if you want all in, you just go for the complete collection. And the card deck upgrade is what you need. Now, these are the Everdell plushies, which I think were at Gen Con 2023. And they were melting the hearts of everybody that saw them. And they sold out instantly. So, you know, if, you, if your table's big enough, you can even put six plushies around the table just to make it even more cuddly around the Everdell board. But if you do a quick math here, six times 15 is $90 for the six plushies. Why wouldn't you? It says... <laughs> Some additional items from our catalogue may be available in the Pledge Manager. Whatever that is. Right, so here's the shipping. Now, I'm, I'm pretty sure that six teddy bears or plushies are going to be bigger than the sleeve box. <laughs> but um, potentially I'm shopping here for the big cards and the teddy bears. I think that's what it is. Everdell Duo, not the kind of adventure I would have hoped for. I would have hoped for like one of those adventure books that you turn the pages on and you've got a campaign that way. I don't really want the campaign card thing, to be frank. Um, so yeah, that's where I am. It's interesting that the shipping with 
the oversized cards to the rest of the world. 55 bucks for the cards. I'm, I'm assuming it's a heavy thing, and that's going to go up with the plushies. I am going to be late pledging anyway, so I will see shipping and have to eat the shipping price. <laughs> Regardless, because this is an insta late pledge for me because I love the game so much. And tarot card deck, what, I mean, what else could you have done with Everdell? Other than upsize the cards. But again, you're going to need an absolute epic table. Right? Because you have a player board with these cards. With tarot cards, it's going to be enormous play area that you have. <laughs> I mean, you, you're going to be looking at all this art, though. I mean, it's going to be fantastic. And the board in the middle... Interestingly enough, it's just a field, isn't it? It's just a field. The art is not in the middle here. So these cover it up deliciously. Still got the incredible things out there. I'm surprised they didn't put their... Uh, in this picture. The... Everdell Deluxe resource vessels. In that picture. You know, you've got to kind of show that how good it does look and if you're just playing the base game maybe you then it should have them on it and you should have these stick stickers and stuff and all this stuff did, did they have that sticker pack here let's have a look at the shop i didn't actually look for that doesn't look like it does it what am I talking about? If you buy the Everdell Complete Collection, they have a huge sticker pack to stick stickers on all the meeples. It took me four hours, I think, to do it. <laughs> it took an absolute epic long time to do it whilst I was watching plethora of videos at the same time. I was multitasking. Might have been longer multitasking, but it just took in inordinate time, and it eclipsed the sticker time, that catacombs, I had a stick catacombs, that was two hours, Everdell eclipsed it by two hours, have you ever had a board game that's took a long time to stick stickers, let me know down in the comments, because oh, the, these memories will stay with you forever, board game unboxing memories. <laughs> Anyway, it really is incredible that you get that. I don't know why they're not selling that extra, but there we go. Maybe it is hidden in, in some of these, but I just can't see it here. Now, it, the far shore here, not interested in that, of course. You get resources here, and you can get the wooden lighthouse here, of course. Complete collection already comes with the wooden Oh, it's an amazing box. I've done a video on the channel if you want to check out my full, you know, reaction of when, when it went launched. Full breakdown of a complete collection. Fell in love with the project. Awesome. Puzzles, of course. This is stuff that you would have seen at Gen Con if you go to the booth and they're just showing it all here on Kickstarter to hopefully make it blow up. But if you look at the pledges, 19 bucks for this duo. It's so cheap. That, that's no tax, though, isn't it? <laughs> Oversized cards just for the base game. Only 41 people. Why have you not bought any expansion for Everdell? Unbelievable. Only 146. It's not bad, actually. 59 for the cards, and then you've got the plushies on top. It's going to be expensive regardless, isn't it? This is what we do. <laughs> but I'm just guessing that because it is a strange time. Nine days to go in the middle of September. Don't you realise, Starlink Games, that kids have just gone back to school. We had to buy 
two uniforms, two sports kits, football boots, books for his school and subscription for the school. Are you kidding me, Star? <laughs> Are you kidding me, Starling Games? Are you kidding me? I'll have to late pledge. Such a, a strange time to kickstart a game when the school runs on. You could have at least extended it to the end of the month. Dear me. But um, Everdell here doing what I would call ninja campaign during the school. Start of school. Yeah. Fees and all that jazz. So, yeah. This is going to be a late pledge for sure. But insta late pledge at that. Everdell, you are looking absolutely fantastic. If you want an adventure card game, 15 chapters for 20 bucks before tax. That's looking really interesting, isn't it? I might, you know, I, I might get that. There's like a might because of its gateway appeal. And of course, the shipping doesn't change. The shipping is the same with Duo and the cards. So you don't pay extra shipping with that. So maybe... Maybe I'll do a follow-up video when it goes to late pledge and I can show with you the, uh, the worldwide shipping fee to Mexico. Whew. Could be very expensive. All right, nine days to go then. I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of people like me that are going to just wait for the late pledge. That's just the way it is. But I honestly, if you've not got Everdell on your shelf, what are you waiting for? You could... Oh my God, are you kidding? Hitting me! Everdell and his expansions are extraordinarily expensive on the market. They are just outrageous. The complete collection has it all in. It's in amazing what they've done. It's a love letter to the industry. It really is. And it, it, it's just incredible. So you, you can lay pledge for all that, as you can see, as well as those plushies, which look incredible. And just remind you, those plushies melted the hearts of Everdell fans at Gen Con two years ago. And they will melt the hearts of people playing the game. Not to mention all the art, the vessels, the components, just, oh, just blowing it out of the park. All we need now is an Everdell soundtrack. <laughs> Starling, are you watching? We need a star. We need, we need, <laughs> we need a soundtrack. So that bombshell. What do you think of Everdell? Anything here have got you interesting? Maybe it's the puzzle, the plushes, or maybe just the card, oversized card decks. How big do you think your play area is going to be with tarot cards? And can your table really take it? Because it's one heck of a table hog, isn't it? All right. Well, if you've not seen the channel before, do check out the special programs in the playlist. It's got lots of videos on the industry made for people like you. Also, yesterday, we looked at an incredible card battler called Havoc. That is a little gem in the weeds that must be taken. You must really take a look at that one. It looks amazing. Anyway, thank you for being here. I've been your host, Lipstick Panny. This is Kickstarter Radio 102.4. You take care, stay safe, and bye-bye for now. <laughs>